Oh, let me turn down my sports talk radio I'm listening to. Hey, everybody. Back with another Big G Sports Network video. Uh, apologize. We had some technical difficulties, so was unable to uh, record videos for a few days, so I know I missed out on a lot. But um, in this quick editorial, I had to do this video because, you know, the big thing as... Uh, came out of that that uh, glorified free throw free throw shooting contest that was the Clippers and the Rockets series a lot of people are saying because of the propensity of the hacker whoever um, strategy that was employed by by both uh, clubs throughout the course of the series a lot of people are clamoring for the NBA. Oh, somebody, something has to be changed. And this is horrible to watch. And yada yada yada, yakety schmackety, whatever. And I say that, but I'm not. You know, I'm not gonna be derisive of what they're saying. They're saying it makes it horrible to watch and all of this. And I understand what they're saying. That perhaps from an entertainment standpoint, watching two or three dudes clank free throws off the rim from the beginning of the game to the end just to get the ball back sucks to watch and to an extent I feel them I really do but my thing is this dude you're a professional athlete you should shoot at least 65 percent from the line and my thing is if if you change the rule to prevent that strategy aren't you in fact bailing these guys out because you never hear about the hacker Curry, the hacker when he was playing, the hacker Ray Allen, the hacker Chris Paul. You know why? Because they make free throws. If you make free throws, you stop the strategy. Period. End of discussion. But because these guys, for whatever reason, they aren't mentally tough enough to either make them when the lights come on or they have the, the guts to go out there and practice this is what happens you get exposed it's kind of like if in football if there's a corner that can't cover someone and I keep going after him you know if in sports particularly at the highest level if there's an advantage that can be gained by exploiting an opponent's weakness you'd be stupid not to go to it now with that being said um, the teams that employed it they did with varying degrees of success so it doesn't always work but my thing is is this and will continue to be this if you don't want to get exposed make your free throw that's all you got to do and you don't even have to shoot 90 percent if you shoot 60 65 70 percent who knows you would see this go away i don't think that once again the nba needs to step in and yet something else in the game needs to be tweaked because some people in television don't like it. Tough. Suck it up. Everything about a game cannot be 100% exciting from beginning to end. There may be some parts that you just don't like. Deal with it. I'm tired of that. Gosh, sports fans, are, sometimes they get so whiny. They want everything spoon-fed to them in, in super excited bite-sized chunks. But, I mean, uh, but this isn't about the sports fan. It's about the athletes. Make your free throws. Period. With that, signing off for the Big G Sports Network. I'm out.